chopped up a lung. Uh, as the thumbnail will tell you, oh, first of all, let's do the business thing first. My name's Johnny Lee. This is another Helix video. Subscribe. Blah de blah de blah. Blah de blah de blah. There we go. Business bit is out of the way. Uh, as the thumbnail will tell you, this is something. That I, the short version of the story is I went to see The Darkness, um, an amazing band live. Very, very simple, straightforward setup. It's just four guys on the stage making like a ton of amazing noise. It was just mind blowing. Really, really good gig. Uh, and it kind of got me to thinking about overcomplicating what we do with our patches in the Helix uh, and any model, really. Same when I'm using the Fractal FM3. Uh, so I thought, well, uh, let's just build a couple of darkness ish kind of patches based on the information that I had and. Keep it simple. Just keep it nice and simple. So there's two today. Uh, the reason for these, again, is because I was uh, bumped into somebody at the gig that's in a cover band that at the end was like, oh, I've got to do some darkness stuff and I've got the Helix, let's do this. Da, 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 da. So this is why we're doing it. So there's two patches, two completely different amps. Dan Hawkins in the darkest has been known to use a Friedman small box as well as a Marshall. They were also using Voxes for a while and it's constantly changing. Uh, on the floor, I mean, there's a couple of fuzz pedals, an overdrive and a delay, and, you, you know, it's not it's not a complex kind of setup. And Justin Hawkins is actually, I believe now, using Laney IRTs live. Um, just for, a, I think it's just a bit of a balance in sound, you know, two different sort of sounding rigs. So, let's start at the beginning. Uh, there's our Plexi. They're the settings that I uh, seen from one of the rig rundowns from down for his tube screamer. Uh, I've done the hum and the ripple thing, kind of pushed the bias, messed around with the EQ a little bit and that. In between there's the kinky boost. If you're new to the channel, you will be confused why that's there, but go back and watch the other videos and you'll know why it's there. Greenback 25s, I've messed around with the distance on the mic, etc. Dynamic haul on this one ping pong which is set really really quickly just to give it a little bit of you know oh what was that and then tile on the end and the reason that there's no retro reel on this is because i didn't want it to be kind of too clean you know what i mean too kind of refined uh because the darkness have a habit of just taking a marshal by the ball sack and slapping you around the face with it uh so here's how this one sounds <laughs> I'll show you what's going on with the tube screamer on and off. on Jonathan uh, so you can really see what's going on with the tube screamer kind of you know takes the mids and goes oosh have that uh, the second one is the Friedman again like you say Dan Hawkins has been known in the past to use a Friedman small box so starting at the beginning again kind of same for the tube screamer there's the the placator dirty uh, drop the sag a little bit just to kind of it's uh, just a feel thing for me uh didn't really mess with too much amp wise after that same with the kinky boost same with the 4 by 12 greenbacks just you know moved the mic around a little bit and then opted for the dynamic plate on this same with the ping pong uh, but i've put a slightly longer feedback on it and i've actually used the retro reel for this one because i wanted them to be the same but different if that makes any sense and then the tile on the end uh it's a darker sound and patch uh but it's meant to be so this is this one <laughs> Thank you. 
And again, I'll show you what this tube scream is doing. So, it's very basic, it's very straightforward, uh, there's no solo boost, there's no snapshots, the only thing that are assigned to pedals are a tube screamer and a ping pong delay. Obviously take it, have a fiddle around, have a feel, see what you think, uh, if you want to do your own thing, then you should do that. But if you do do that, then come back and tell me what you've done, because I'm interested. We're all in this together. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, I do appreciate you being here, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, Shaka Khan, see you on the next one.